We welcome Pradeep sir. Yes. He did a procedure with Eugenics in 2016 November, and we did the frontal scalp for him. And uh, against my advice, he has not been taking medicine at all. So now you can tell me about your experience. My experience, I, uh, honestly speaking, uh, when I thought of a hair transplant, I like I never believed or imagined that I'll go for transplant, despite being in the aesthetic industry for so long. But uh, after seeing results of you and uh, Dr. Pradeep Sethi, of course, I got convinced. And I tell this story to many people that I left from home for office. Uh, in the office, I decided, okay, I, I need to have to get it done today. And that's how we planned. And uh, so far, journey has been extremely good. Trust me, till date, no one has been able to tell me that I have uh, gone for a transplant. So hairline is so nice, so beautiful. Basically, uh, that time we did just the frontal scalp and we were assuming that the scalp and crown will become better. Yes. But uh, over the years, I would say your age has been a favorable factor. It has progressed to a very, very small extent. Right. Now, if you restart the medicines again, there is a probability that you might not need a transplant in the mid scalp and crown. Okay. But yes, if uh, you actually plan, we can cover that area also. Okay. But luckily for you, the frontal turned out to be very very good natural and it has maintained over a period of time right uh, this is because your age is on the favorable aspect okay if somebody is very young in their 20s and they do a procedure after such a long period of time that is five years six years after follow-up they can experience the thinning of transplanted hair right and that becomes a matter of a disappointment uh, yes so that's why we need to focus on overall lifestyle habits also so for Pradeep ji, he had a very good lifestyle, he has a disciplined diet and he works out a lot. So you can throw some light on your lifestyle habits which might have contributed to the longevity of your hair. Uh, I think uh, uh, I can notice a little bit of uh, thinning but I think that is mainly because I never take, uh, took up any medicine after initial 2 or 3 months period or maximum 5 to 6 months if I recall correctly. So I don't know whether I could retain these many uh, transplanted uh, hair because of that or what. But uh, yes, I. Uh, I think so far this has been pretty good. So in your case, the thinning has happened to a very, very mild extent. Okay. okay. So there is something called age related involution also. As we know, if we are 32, our hair will be thicker in volume and density. And when we reach 42, over a decade, there is a reduction in volume and density. So that can happen as every decade passes by. Okay. So that is called age related involution. Okay. So what are your lifestyle things that you're following? Uh, which I feel contribute to an overall healthy life, overall healthy body, which reduces the speed of aging. So what are those things? I like you to throw light on that. <laughs> Not much actually. I travel a lot. So I have to be a little cautious about my diet. Okay. And I try to uh, do a little bit of uh, stretching exercises, if not uh, you know, gyming and all. But I don't do gyming. But yes, uh, I, I yes, you conscious. You, you run a lot. I yeah, yes, I fond of to. running. Yeah, I, I prefer that. I love that. Uh, it's a jog, not exactly running, yeah, but I do jogging and uh, okay, jogging, walk, yeah. walk and jog is something like which I uh, do regularly and a little bit of uh, uh, light exercises, uh, you know, just to avoid fat. <laughs> yes, yes. So this is also a very strong myth in people's mind that excess of everything is bad. So people exercise a lot. Now too much of exercise also plays a stress on the body and it might actually cause more damage than benefit so a moderate exercise as he has mentioned and a very controlled good diet okay of course you have to enjoy your diet but it has to be in a controlled fashion in your case you have matched the fact that your diet and workout yeah, is much. I eat everything but uh, as you rightly mentioned the moderation everything in moderation I, yes yeah, I'm, I'm a vegetarian so okay but, and I don't avoid sweets or anything I eat mm -hmm. everything but okay yes in everything order. in moderation and the third most important component is sleep. Your body requires five to six hours of sleep. Yes, but that you should catch on an everyday basis. That much of sleep is bare minimum. Yeah. If I can stretch it to six, six and a half, seven, then yes, it's better. Yeah. But uh, doing less than five is definitely adding stress to your body. And on long term, you see those changes. Yeah. I think best is uh, seven. That's what I've experienced. So if I sleep seven hours, I'm absolutely at peace. Mm -hmm. Body is also response uh, in different manner. Mm -hmm. uh, but anything less than six is uh, definitely uh, doesn't work for me. This is something like which I remember whenever I look into the mirror, I remember you and Dr. Sethi every day. Thank nice. you so much. Thanks for doing such a nice job.